Hello everybody, this is Michael Smiley coming at you with another review video. I want to talk about NipTuck, <clears throat> created by Ryan Murphy. So, NipTuck is about two plastic surgeons um, who are who start off based in Cal uh, not California, Florida, um, who eventually move to California like in the fifth season or something like that. Or at the end of the fourth season. <sighs> Excuse me. Um, and it is such a wild, crazy show. Um, so obviously, Ryan Murphy, he's such a genius when it comes to shows. He is the one behind Nip Tuck. He is the one behind Screen Queens. He is the one behind um, Glee. He is the one behind American Horror Story, and, um, like, he keeps coming up with Outrageous and Lavish. Oh, and let's not forget 911. Um, so, <clears throat> talking about Ryan Murphy for a second. So, he is such a talent when it comes to his creativity um and he is such an artist so the first show i ever watched that was created by him was nip tuck blew me away um me my friends loved it my mom loved it is really one of those shows that was so it was just so out there but um so what Ryan Murphy does is he a hundred percent of the procedures that were done on Nip Tuck are based on facts. They're factual. He just took factual things and he put them into a str he molded them into the grander scheme of things into his uh, grand plan, his his bigger picture. Um, same thing with that he did with 911. He 100% of the rescues are based on real rescues, and he molded it into his own story that he did for all the characters and everything. And it's just so fantastic. Um, American Horror Story is also based on a few different events and things and people so it's really cool with what he does he takes real life things and uh, makes a fictional story around them so with Nip Tuck so Nip Tuck ran for six seasons a um, hundred episodes and I don't think that they're viewable on Netflix I know that they were at one point in time um, <coughs> they aired on FX uh, which is what American Horror Story airs on now. And so all of his shows that he's came out with on FX have been number one hits for the show with ratings and viewer-wise. And, um, and now he's he's leading the ballgame with uh, 911 on Fox. Uh, so he's very much into character development. He's very much into progressive stories. He's into the most you know crazy things and it really keeps you on your toes I mean, nip tuck really keeps you on your toes really uh engages you or has you engaged in the story and the characters and everything <clears throat> my favorite character on um nip tuck is liz who's the anesthesiologist and um yeah the whole thing is great um it tells the story of these um people that are really damaged that's what i got anyway they're really damaged people they have their own demons um and they deal with different situations differently um my favorite season is season three with the carver well, season two and season three are my two favorites, uh, for different reasons and obvious reasons. Um, 
season two and season three were the strongest of the series. And um, I really loved the whole Carver storyline. <clears throat> and I love that they brought in Ronamitra. She is an amazing actress. Uh, she played for one of the investigators on the show um, to try and find the Carver and everything. Um, Oh boy. Um, so yeah, there's so many different things that are going on. They uh, had so many ideas and stories, and um, so the series finale was actually so the whole series is shocking. Um, it, it relies very heavily on the shock factor, which it is, and and you expect it to be shocking, and it's still shocking. That's what the crazy part is, because when you're watching it and something happens, you're like, oh my god, I can't believe that they just did that. Um, so, the whole show is so shocking and everything, and the shocking part about the finale, about the series finale, is that it's really normal. Like, it, it's... Um, I don't know. It, it and tried to come up with the biggest shocking thing or anything. The shocking part was that it was very normal. I mean, obviously, some things in it were shocking or whatever, but it just it wasn't overtly shocking. Like they didn't try to do that. Um, they cared more about wrapping up the story, which is obviously number one great. And I think that they did an amazing job with wrapping the storyline. It was an amazing series, had an amazing run, and had an amazing finale for it. I think that every single part of it was strong. I don't think that there was really a weak season because they just kept going. They kept they kept fighting forward. They kept um, on the beat of things. <clears throat> and the actors and actresses were really great. Um, I didn't. I did not not hate. Or I didn't hate any of them, I should say, um, for their acting ability anyway. There were obvious things that I hated about the characters, but that's not the actor's fault. Um, I thought that it was a very creative story. It was very... Um, s some things hit home. Some things were really crazy. Some things were, like, it had a little bit of a mixture of everything. And I really highly recommend the show. If you can find it, it's probably on the FX app. Um, because it is really great. It is one of the all-time best shows ever made. It is so incredible. It is such a guilty pleasure. It is such a shocking show. And it really just... It keeps going, and it's crazy. And that's what I love about it. It just keeps you on the edge of your seat. You don't ever know what's going to happen next because when you think that something's going to go one way, it ends up going another. Um, or something comes out of left field and completely surprises you. So um, make sure you check it out. Um, so, yeah. I, I loved it all. Um, and if you like my reaction to these shows and movies and music and anything in general just make sure that you subscribe to my channel make sure you like this video and comment underneath um, if you've watched the show um, let me know what your favorite parts are what the juiciest good parts were um, that you really loved or that you really did not like uh, what you would have done differently what you thought about the finale uh, probably not too spoilery because for the some you know for some people that haven't seen um the show um, for obvious reasons let's not spoil it for everyone um <clears throat> but yeah check it out it's a great show and until next time have a good night everybody